Thank you so much for being here. I wish it were colder. I wish our winter had been colder. And I'm, I'm distressed to hear every now and then people saying, oh, wow, what a great winter. It's been so mild. It's a tragedy it's been so mild. But let's be happy this morning. It's sunny. And let's talk about some positive things. I am absolutely thrilled beyond belief to have assembled what I'm calling not the green team for the Liberal Party, it's the verdant green team. I, am, I have endorsements from the extraordinary, um, extraordinarily progressive environmentalists and thinkers, um, people who care deeply and have an incredible knowledge about the environment, a team of people who are going to work with me throughout the course of this by-election in Toronto Danforth, advise me and put forward some incredibly new ideas. Now, I, Grant Gordon, as many of you know, I've been immersed in the environment, in the environmental sector for the last 10 years. My company was the very first advertising and design firm in Canada, perhaps in North America, to devote itself, to dedicate itself solely to making the world a healthier and more sustainable place. Now in the beginning it was hard because no one, no one really cared that much about the environment. Now it's an, extraordinary, it's an extraordinary time and I can't think of a riding in Canada that cares more about the environment. I honestly can't. Here, here. Now, I'm just going to zoom through a list. I'd love to introduce everyone, but for the purposes of time, I'm going to zoom through my list of just the beginning of a, of a team of people who care about the Liberal Party succeeding in this riding so that we can form the next government and we can push sustainability like crazy. Now, we care about people. We have to do everything we can for people. We have to do everything we can for the planet. But what makes this party different is that this party knows that to sustain people and the planet, we have to take care of profits. We need all three of those legs on the stool of sustainability to keep it from falling over. Now, I'm so privileged to have with me Monsieur Dion, who put forth the most progressive by far and away the most progressive proposed environmental legislation ever. And here, I know here. Here, here. Here, here. Well done. Over the course of time, as our oceans become more acidic, and as they rise, and as our planet rises in temperature, we're going to realize how far ahead of the times Mr. Dion was. I hope you will realize that before. Yes. <laughs> We have to get back into government to make progress. Now, so I have the honorable, the very honorable Monsieur Stefan Dion. I have with me Lois Corbett, uh, a huge brain when it comes to the environment. Ian Lipton, the uh, CEO of the Carbon Accounting Company. Bobby Hunter, widow of Bob Hunter, who has done, and Bobby Hunter is, has is just one of the most compassionate people you'll ever meet who cares deeply about not just this riding, but the environment. Bobby, thank you. thank you for being here. Phil Winters, his email address is solar, is it not solar winters <laughs> at whatever it is? The, Mr. Solar himself, thank you, Phil. Rob Newman, who's the former deputy leader of the Green Party, he now realizes it's important to be verdant green. <laughs> thank you, Rob. We have Jillian Deacon, whom I know quite well, um, who has a bestseller out called There's Lead in Your Lipstick. It's all about how we need to ban, we need to catch up to Europe and ban toxic chemicals that are making us sick. I also have Paul Charbonneau, who's an extraordinary energy advocate and a, a former candidate for the, that, uh, what's that party called again? The Green Party of Ontario. Nice green... people, but... <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> thanks for being verdant. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and uh, Don Huff, who's not here, he is, uh, he is also a communication specialist uh, specializing in the environment. 
He knows how to tell the environmental story succinctly and clearly and precisely in a memorable way like no one else, except for me. Um, <laughs> and then we have also Andrew Heinzman, who is not here today, who has written extraordinary books on sustainable energy, and he will also lend an important voice to this. He is leading the way in terms of investing in clean tech, organic food, all the kinds of companies we need to make us sustainable. Now, Mr. Dion, if you'd like to say a couple of words. Yes, and it's an honor for me and Caroline Bennett to be here and to say to uh, the people of Toronto Danforth, you have an opportunity to send uh, to the House of Commons uh, a very green candidate. That I, he has a big heart, he has a lot of experience. Grant is a businessman who decided that it's possible to make money and to preserve the planet at the same time. He's showing it, and now he wants to show it to, to the nation in being a strong voice in the House of Commons. We need him. Don't miss your opportunity. You have a great opportunity to help your country in choosing the best candidate, uh, the best liberal candidate we may have with Grant Gordon. So now we're going to play a little uh, ball hockey. Now, uh, in years past, firefighters used to come, and uh, from that hydrant over there, they'd throw a hose on there, and they'd spray water and flood this field so that we'd have two options, an artificial ice rink with a compressor, which is okay because we need to get exercise. No, <laughs> but we'd also have uh, a natural rink. Well, we haven't had a natural rink here for years, which is uh, not good because um, we need to play shinny more. Actually, maybe that's one of the main reasons I'm a global warming activist is because I like to play shinny so much. <laughs> anyway, let's go and play a little ball hockey, boys. Right. Happy and girls. Family right. Happy family day. Hey, kids. Oh. <laughs> You will not be too tough with me, eh?